We're here with Michelle Kemarek. You sailed in the 1988 Olympics and have yes. since been working with some of the biggest names in the business as a hydrodynamicist and now a senior naval architect with Alinghi Red Bull Racing. You were on the water today. How was it? What were you looking out for? Oh, it was a great day. We had good sailing condition. It was a bit different from yesterday. It was more quiet, a bit different, let's say. But So it's interesting because it's different every day. And so today was a practice day. They, they did plenty of uh, tests on uh, managing the boat, how to manage the boat with uh, different conditions. So it was really instructive for everybody, for the sailors, for the design as well. So really good day, very good day. And what are you looking out for uh, data on the boat when you're chasing on the water? Uh, you, we look, you look at generally, on, on my side for the design, we look mainly for the loads on the, on the hydro fold, on the rudder, looking at the limit, what we can expect. And uh, when we get the data from the measurement, we can adjust the design to it. So the uh, uh, main goal of the test are, are that at the moment. So it looked like today they were having some trouble jibing, especially to starboard. Do you know why that is? Is it anything to do with the difference in the foils? Well, for sure, we have, as you have seen, uh, the two foils are not the same, and so obviously it's a bit different to manage from one side to the other. So that was for sure one explanation why it was better going one way compared to the other way. And uh, obviously they have also to practice, learn the boat, so. It's normal not to be at 100% now. The goal is to be 100 or one, more than 100% in so one is there a big, time. Is there a big difference in opinion in the, in the office with foil design and shapes? And how do you make the final decisions? It's a team effort, so every time we, there are some decisions to take, it's a, it's a team decision, decision, it's a group decision. So we exchange a lot between the different people and at the end, in general, everybody agrees on where to go. And if there is no agreement, which is very rare, so somebody has to decide. So. so how many foil designs and iterations have you made so far? So far? Well, there has been a long period of uh, setting up the tools first. And uh, then, yeah, it's running to production. And uh, so I cannot tell you how many. Uh, actually, I don't know it. Uh, let's say a lot. I'm once, sure. well, once the tools are running, it's it's a lot. And uh, so, how do you do z how do you deal with cavitation and ventilation in the design, and how do you predict predict this in uh, simulation? Cavitation is pretty easy because uh, it's well predicted by the tool. The trick point is obviously the ventilation, and so far it's a matter of uh, adjusting the tool for it and and. Uh, uh, making comparison with, with what's happened in real life. So that's why real life tests are very important as well to, to adjust the tool, let's say. Perfect. It's a, it's a very important point for sure, yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Good timing.